welcome back. You are watching the Richmond Rough Riders Insider Report with me, your host, Mel Golson. Now, last week we interviewed our offense and our defense. Now, this week we're talking to the people who help make it happen. They call all our shots, our coaching staff. We have Frank Costin, Law Lewis, and Luke Zimmerman. Now, we have Mookie. First of all, let's just say congratulations. We're 5 0, we're still undefeated. But I know they say a win's a win, but during our last game when we played New Jersey Flight, we were down 24 points. What did you say during halftime to motivate the team? Because we did win, so how did you make that happen? Oh, man. First, I looked up at the scoreboard and realized something wasn't right. But then what I did is I just went in there. I didn't really scream at them or anything, but I just reminded them that we weren't playing Rough Rider football, that we wasn't playing our style of football, and that we were playing Jersey Flight football instead of Rough Rider football. So what is Rough Rider football? Rough Rider football is, you know, playing, dominating your responsibility, one play at a time, one quarter at a time, one game at a time, looking at adversity in the face, coming together as a brotherhood, and punching straight through it. And I believe we did that in the second half of New Jersey. Now we have a special teams coordinator, Frank Costin. Now you wear a lot of hats. So how was it and how frustrating is it for you to go into New Jersey Flights Arena and having the you know, scoreboard so low and our kicker, T.C. Stevens, can't kick as freely as he wants to? What changes did you make during the game? Uh, first of all, there's nothing like playing in Richmond, the big house. That's why everybody likes to come here because we have that open arena. And so it's very frustrating when we get um, down to places like New Jersey or high country where they have things in the middle of the arena that cause our kicker to uh, have to change his game. So uh, what we found best is during the warm-ups that we slid him off to the side. I don't know if you noticed that, but he was kicking from the side. And uh, we, were, we were hoping to, to get some good production from there, but um, uh, it didn't work, but that was the only thing that we could do. Um, so we went with what we had at the moment. Now, I noticed they were kicking away from Jer um, Jeremy Gallon. So how did that happen? Like, what, what did you do to help make that um, change that a little bit? Yeah, that is very frustrating. Um, Jeremy Gallon's um, only had uh, two two returns this season. Uh, a lot of teams have seen film on Jeremy, plus they know what he did in Michigan. Uh, so uh, I guess it's been taught that way. They're purposely kicking the ball into the stands, kicking it away from him. It's very frustrating. Um, if Jeremy Gallon gets his hands on the football, he's going to take it back, and we're expecting that. But they're also uh, trying to avoid that. So it's very frustrating, very frustrating. Now we have the Law Lewis, so you're no stranger to arena football. How long have you been playing arena football? I've been here since the beginning of time, almost seemed like. I've been here since the first time they played arena football. I was here the first game that they had with the Richmond Speed. I ended up being able to continue my plan. I went on and played with the Richmond Revolution, with the Richmond Raiders, the Richmond um, Bandits. Every team that's been here in Richmond, I've been associated with. So coming back to coming to this team now, to being with the uh, Rough Riders, has been almost like a blessing to me to be able to continue my um, football career. Now, so with all that experience, how did that help you transition to now being a new, congratulations, okay. defensive coordinator? So tell me about how that's happened. Well, the experience of all the things that I've been through, it helps me know that I can see, see things before it happens. Um, I can also have a feel on how things are, should be going and everything else like that. It just feels good to be a back doing something that I've been almost born to do. I think arena football is something that I've been blessed to be good at and also been blessed to being around a lot of great people. Um, the experience also makes me um, able to, you know, be good with the coaching and be good with the players because I've seen it. A lot of people trust a lot of things that I have to say and a lot of things that I do. All right, guys, a lot of things have been changing during this season. Now, of course, we just added Laws, one of your new coaching staff, and now we've also added 12 new players. Like, are you guys surprised that Greg's making so many changes during the season? Like, what's the difference between last year's team and this year's team? Um, I'm not at all surprised. Um, if anybody knows uh, Greg Fenario, Greg Fenario won the championship with us last year, and he's not going to settle for anything less. So he's going to make sure that um, we bring in the best. And so the players, the the, the coach, I'm surprised that um, <laughs> we don't have any some more coaches, some NFL guys, and some Dallas Cowboy coaches or something. But because he wants to win, and um, that's what I love about uh, being here is that he's always putting us in the position to win. So the players that we have, we, we're going to be the best from top to bottom. That's 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 rough riding. And uh, you probably hear Mookie say that's the right away. What do you have to say about that? Just to piggyback off what Coach said, on what Coach said, um, he's absolutely right. The right away is we just don't want to be great here. We want to be great in the world. We want to be the best in the world. We want to be the best arena team in the world. And that's what we try to do. We just try to get better. Great is not good enough for us. We try to exceed greatness. And that's the right away. And that's just the way we try to do things here in Richmond. I say all the time, it's just different. 
Now, I know the guys do different things before each game starts, listen to different music, different little things. What do you guys, do you have any superstitions that you have to do before every game that's helping us win? Like, what, what is the secret? Yes. We actually do a lot of different things. One of the things is, uh, uh, me and Greg Fenario, we have to take a picture um, on the field every single game. That's just something we do. He's very superstitious. I think Greg will go to the same gas station before each game or something like that. So um, he's very superstitious. Um, and another thing I do with my coaches is um, I hug every single one of my coaches before each game and just let them know, just have a good game. You know, we've been here, done that, have a good game. And I go to each one individually and just give them love and let them know that I have their back and I support them. And then one thing me and Coach Frank do, especially when we're both very, very religious people, is we always put the game in Jesus' name. And we hug and say in Jesus' name. And I think that, um, you know, having that um, support system from him, I think that helped us go a long way. So, um, you know, so there's a lot of things, different things that we do. What about you? What do you do for each game? Yeah. Um, I, well, I didn't know Coach was going to hit on that. That's our little personal thing. Uh, I don't think anybody on the team um, knows that we do that. But um, but I remember a game where, where we forgot to do it, and we were both looking for each other at the same time, and, and, and we just embrace and we always say, we don't say anything else, just in Jesus' name. And that's just how we do. Um, a couple other things. Um, uh, he's not here right now, but our offensive coordinator, Derek Stout, he, he, he's a, a creature of habit. So. If, if he's sat in a certain seat for warm-ups, he's going to sit in that seat every game, you know, because he want to make sure that we win, so he want to make sure he does everything the exact same way, or he's going to wear the same clothing or whatever. So, you know, we got a lot of superstitions, but the big superstition and the big thing that has to happen, and uh, I get a lot of flack from the guys, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's the truth. There's never been a Richmond Rough Rider game where Future Song Mask Off wasn't played. If we don't have Mask Off, then the mask can't come off. You know, we have to have that. So um, that's, that's the biggie for me. We have to have Mask Off. Don't tell nobody that out there. Because <laughs> we go in the arena, they're going to cut it off. But we come with our own box. We're good. Mask <laughs> Off. <laughs> Well, what about you? What do you do before each game? Well, now that um, I'm on this team, we try to, um, they, this team is just all about tradition. That's one thing you do love about this team, that everybody's about tradition and everybody's trying to do everything, not towards just one person, but towards everything. One thing I try to bring to it before the game now, I try to bring the, our pregame meal for the coaching. You know, for one thing, I try to go down to our local Jamaican restaurant or whatever cook restaurant that we have and try to come back and have something for us all to eat. Something that, you know, I try to start certain traditions because if we win with something, you know, like he said, we just creatures are happy. If something works, we're going to keep on doing it. If we're going to keep on being a family and keep on trying to support each other. So that's one of the things that I, I mean, if it ain't nothing else, we're going to love each other. And I'll, and I'll make my guys wear suits to the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's the suits. So it's in the suits. Yeah, suited gotcha. and booted. Gotcha. Suited and booted. Okay. Okay. I don't know if mine helps, but I have Chipotle before every game, so yeah, it might need to helps. help and bring the whole team together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the Richmond Rough Riders Insider Report. Again, I'm your host, Mel Golson. Tune in for next week's show and see who we're going to be interviewing. See you soon.